there and welcome to the channel uh this is a base update on daisy infected z generous server um thought i'd sit in front of the uh awesome machines we have we have the hennessy and we have the uh e-wagon and both are six wheels six wheel bad boys this one is the wild fun one and this one is the serious PvP holder. Go oh, well. And this, so yeah, this is about the base. Um, as you know, we placed a uh, little gazebo a little while ago, and we have been uh, building away in between our little bit of uh, you know interest in the server, as per se. If you've seen the other videos, if you haven't seen the other videos, uh, check the list coming up on the information in the top right-hand corner now and check those videos out and you'll check out different videos on this server so far but um we started building and last night i believe the lads finished it off um in like uh, so basically we uh we had a nice wee design idea and uh we've made it look quite unique i think quite unique and we've gone the full way we've got plaster done we've got all the wallpaper done we've got rooms done i won't be able to show you all the rooms because some of them are past coded I believe, uh, can, uh, I believe, uh, I'm not sure whose is whose, uh, but let's go have a look. Oh, yeah, we have a nice little design pattern going on, as you know, but wait till you see this. This is a cool d design idea. I don't know who had this idea, but whoever had this idea, that's awesome. They've overhung actual glass greenhouse. So, and if you notice, they fra they've got it hanging, so the frame is sitting quite you know on the mark so it just looks like a box frame on the outside it looks awesome see from back here watch this isn't that cool right so this is the uh, main entrance I do need to change this because all the wood is dark wood so we will change that in a wee while but it looks nice that is the uh, possible plasters that you could do it's really really nice and I tell you what me and Tommy lad uh, had a mission Getting this to just fit like this. Uh, we got it as close as we could. Ah, as close as we could. It does the job. Um, right, here we go. Into the base. Welcome to the Wet Bandits Clan. Better close the door, just in case. So, as you walk in, you get into our wee work area. This is where we do all our sort of building. So this is all the building material. We have the storage, etc. Uh, you know, things like that. We have the bit of workbench, of course, and we have this, but this is the ground floor. This is the open area, the group area. So we have lockers. We have a fridge, which probably doesn't have anything in it right now. Oh no, it does. I do need to maybe take a tin of the bacon, I think. Ever put that in, thank you guys. But we do have a little bit in the fridge right now. That's not too bad. So. Uh, this is the wet band that's uh, open room. This is our meeting room. This is where we make up our ideas This is where we come together if we figure out for instance as you know, we did a raid not long ago um, And basically this is where we do all the uh, The head thinking, you know, Got a nice little gun case here that we're gonna set up soon um, Haven't set that up yet Nice little comfy open area just to sit and while we're down here as well We have a lovely little balcony area with a fire, fire barrel, and another couch as well. Very comfy and cosy. Looks over the, the lake there. And looks over the gazebo. Nice little party place, you know, for the clan. So yeah, this is the Wet Bandits. I think we're probably going to move the Wet Bandits sign over a little bit. So it's kind of more over that way. But it looks really awesome. Um, Tomo laid that out. It looks absolutely awesome really does right so we're gonna go up to the first one so this is the open room this is where we uh, do all the, uh, the thinking the planning the deviation the competition the, uh, you know all, all that stuff anyway. uh, right so this is the uh, next section this is like um, sort of like the main house uh, that is a group area can okay, open area then this is the sort of house area so you come in this is our hallway. This is the secondary balcony. Let me open this quickly. Where we're going to have a display of guns. This isn't finished yet. I'm going to probably put another fireplace here and lead it up and through again. Um, you know, once it's all set up, it's going to look really nice. 
this is the hallway. Uh, we haven't finished putting everything up on the walls yet. We do have a fridge at the end of the hallway. Has it got anything in it? Nope. But we do have a fridge at the end of the hallway. And this, I believe, is the most important room in the house. Are you ready? The toilet. There we go. We have a toilet. Look really good. Very fancy toilet, that. We decided to leave... Oh, yeah, while well, I'm here. That needs to go to that one. So, yeah, can, like, we left the floor nice and... Uh, Wooden. Looks good. Looks good. I like it. And we have our medical supplies. Uh, they are all nice and full and ready for the team. Looking good. So this is the toilet. Now, so this is just basically our main hallway. Uh, we're not going to really put much in here. It's basically... Yeah, we could. There's extra potential for storage and things like that. But up onto the next floor. I can't take us in here, unfortunately, because I don't know the code. Uh, what we've done is we've left it as an open area because now you're getting to the kind of level that, um, you know, even if someone wanted to try and boost up and in, uh, coming into here, uh, all you're going to be able to do is come in, come down here and go to the toilet, unfortunately. Uh, that is the only access that anybody can get to this base right now is they get to go to our toilet. Uh, have we set that up purposely like that? Maybe. I don't know, you know, but yeah. Um, they might as well put themselves, because once they're in here, and if they do get in here, you cannot get back out here, because uh, good luck on finding the construction pole. Um, so, this door, next. This is also a, a locked door. Uh-oh, have we crashed? I believe the server might have crashed. No, maybe not. No, it hasn't, it hasn't. Maybe I just wasn't touching the door properly. Right, so we're going to go through. This is our start of our armory room. Let me try that again. Start of our armory room. We haven't uh, really got a huge lot in yet. We're, we're, we're testing guns at the moment to see what's good and what's not. So we've got a couple of guns in there. I'll show you what that dragon gun is in a wee while. Can we've got another one. There is uh, some scars in there. There is some variety of guns. There's a, I think that's a barret. Now, what else have we got? Got some guns in here as well. Mm, some Shatex, things like that. Ah, it's looking not bad. Uh, what have we got in here? Uh, oh, we've got a nice wee org in there. There is a couple of... There is a lethal shotgun in here somewhere. An absolute lethal shotgun. Um, what else have we got? Uh, well, I was wrong. Maybe we do have a few guns. Uh, we do have a few interesting guns. Um, right, so, this is the armor room, and uh, we decided that the scheme would be black and white. We were going to go all the fancy pimp stuff. There is a bedroom in this place that we can't see tonight, uh, well, in this video, uh, which I'll show you next time when uh, Mank and Abyss are on and we'll be able to get into it. We do have a little bit of change on the wallpaper because this is a college room, I've called it. <laughs> it's quite cool, but this is Mank and, uh, Mank and Abyss's room. Um, you could actually put three people into it, but it's comfortable with two. Uh, let's go up. So, up in this next room, this is uh, the open room. So, I have to put a locker in here still, but this is Tomo's uh, bedroom, a bed. And this is obviously Tommy Lad. Uh, we've got all the little fittings and trimmings in this side, so we've got a little bit of pictures. Makes it look fancy. Put a little uh, splitter in the two there. And on this side, we have my little section I just wanted here. I'm going to put a couple of... I don't know what I'm going to put here yet, but I'm going to put something here. Um, and this is corners, a uh, bit here. Uh, with the bed. And this is our little couch. And we have our little display with some guns. We have the uh, AR-15 cannabis. We have the Lavoa radiation thing that looks pretty cool. We have that awesome thing. I don't even know what it is. I think it's a scar of some sort, but it looks awesome, right? Looks cool. Um, yeah, we've, we've got some decent stuff. That is an animal right there. Just that thing right there. Absolute animal. Um, yeah, a couple of animals here. I bought this. This is my first gun I bought right here. I'm not using it uh, unless it goes out for nighttime, because that's what I've set that up. That's a nighttime scope uh, set up. Short range to mid, even for it's a dragon off. Long range, not so good, so mid range, uh, night time. And yeah, we've got a couple of setups, uh, but we're not finished yet. I don't believe any lights are that plugged in, but we thought we'd have a different design 
So we've got a little bit of a blue and a white theme going on. With a main white wall going all the way down. It's the feature kind of thing and everything else. So it's kind of like pops. It pops. It really does pop. It looks really nice. So we're coming here again. Uh, again, we've left the open plan because now, let's face it, we're up at a height that, you know, I mean, come on. Uh, you're going to hurt yourself coming up here, put it that way. But as again, like I say, uh, unfortunately, anybody that did try, uh, you'd be stuck here. This is uh, actually um, locked. Uh, there is a code lock on this. Uh, and there is, unfortunately, a code lock on this. Uh, we hide them well. But I'll show you one of them. There's one there. And there is one in there, trust me. But yeah. Uh, anywhere that people can access is completely and utterly sealed off. It's just so we can have nice aesthetics, make it look good, but also keep it protected, you know what I mean? So up here, we have the gazebo, which I think we could probably move that. No, actually no, we want the space in between. No, I think I think I can see what they've done. They wanted this space in between, that, that makes sense. Uh, we're leaving it as a frame. Maybe get camel. Might get camel. Don't know. Got a little tent up here, it seems. Uh, that's handy overspill. Uh, but this is great. Wait till you see this. This is awesome. Now you come in here. We have a little fireplace, which we'll need to move that. Um, I suppose you can't actually lift it. I'm going to move that somewhere else. And now we'll put that there. And look at that view. Just look at that view. Awesome, eh? Now, unfortunately, I, re I didn't realize I'd turned my graphics down, so the graphics might not be as good today, guys. Might not be as popping as it normally is. Uh, yeah, looking good, though. Looking good. And it looks right over onto the side. Onto the side. We can see absolutely everything. The eye is content. Let's see. Let me get one of my guns out. Look at that view. Lovely. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Got a good view over the whole vicinity, which is important, clearly. You want to be able to see what's going on. Because if people do decide to try and raid you and you actually catch them raiding you, you can attack them. Like, for instance, when my guys went in uh, and raided the other clan, if those people had turned up, they were actually free to shoot them. Um. Uh, can like obviously if you do try and shoot them then obviously you know my teammates would have had the the right to defend themselves uh, and there would have been a battle on a PvE surface but that's the only way a battle can confirmly happen on a PvP PvE section of the server is if you're actually caught raiding the battle can ensue uh, on the grounds of the raid uh, so yeah um, you could end up having a battle on a PvE uh, section because uh, there is no uh, sort of mod per se. I mean, if someone shot you right now, uh, you're a dead man, pretty much, unless they're a crap shot. But yeah, I absolutely love this, guys. It is now, I feel it is as finished as we need it to be just now. Uh, we have uh, everything we need. We have the vehicles we need. We have a nice view. We have a nice set of storage. We're going to start emptying stuff, some of the stuff out, obviously, uh, that we don't want. And uh, actually, let's go have a quick look in here. We've got... Mm, oh, we've got more kits here. We've got some bed stall. We've got gun cabinet kit. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. No, get that gun cabinet kit down on the hall, I reckon. Or down on our bit, maybe. I reckon, yeah. Oh. Come on, kid. Woo! Okay, we just went for a fly. Right, down we go. Where could we have it? Somewhere in a display. We want it in a place where we can display it. So we're going to have to do only one construction light as well per floor, which I'm going to sort that out later on. Look at my arm. God damn. Help me! Help me! Right, so the gun. Actually. Let's... Bye. Oh, I've just realized I can't place it. Duh. Can't place it. Doesn't matter. I'd have to enable construction. And I'm not doing that on camera. So, uh, you're not getting to know where it is in the base. You're not getting to know where it is in the base. Anyway.
Uh, right, so yeah, like you've seen, you've seen that. I don't know what you think, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think of the design. Um, we wanted to make it feel like a realistic building. So we have an open room underneath where everybody does meetups. We have a balcony area and stuff like that. We have a main area open where we come to the first bedrooms, uh, that side and that side, and the army room is protected in between. Uh, we do make sure we have it protected. Uh, yeah, looking good. Like, let me just see, have I shut everything down here as I'm going down? So shut the door and shut, okay, there, come on Kenny, do your checks properly. Shutting the door, shutting the door, going down, shutting the door, shut the door. And then we're down in the hallway area which uh, definitely need to do something with this. Don't know what yet, but we'll do something. Uh, we're going this way, actually. Yep, everything's fine. And close this window. Go. And we're back down in the open room. I think what we'll do is we're gonna finish up on the balcony. go guys so you've seen our little base on infected z so we've got quite a nice little design um i'm quite happy with it i think everybody else is pretty happy with it as well i say quite and pretty we're happy with it we're happy with it um and no can like we'll look forward to going out there and enjoying the server as well on the pve side as well as the pvp i might go do a little bit of hunting because there is quite a high spawn rate of bears and wolves so that could be interesting oh yeah um but yeah can like like i say this is our little base where we've got comfy um and it's looking good guys it is looking good i must say it is looking good so uh i hope you enjoyed uh leave it in the comments what you thought of the build do you like it um do you like the location like i said i'm not gonna say where it is but yeah you can do you like the location it looks good doesn't it? it looks good right i'm gonna get off so until the next time guys see you soon